Um, hi everyone, um, I'm here with, uh, and I'm pr um, pronouncing his name wrong, but um, tu, 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 Tuomo. 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 Um, so, so I'm here with Tuomo. Uh, Tuomo's from Finland, which um, as, soon as, I, um, as soon as I met you, I said, oh, um, I love Finland because Finland has lots of fjords. And um, Tuomo said, um, "Yeah, that's that's not that's not Finland. You're thinking of uh, where, uh, where, uh, where where's the place with words? Norway. Okay. And um, and so what um, what are um, so so fin Finland doesn't have any fjor any fjords. No. Um, and, and so what's uh, what's a what's a fjord? Because it's it's like a um, I know I know it's like some like interesting pattern in the shoreline. Um, yeah, it's basically because because the like mountain range is like." Part of the shoreline, so there's gonna be the mountain. The mountain rises. There's, there's no lowlands between the mountain range and the and the sea. I don't know how to explain it any better. Okay. And have have you been to Norway? Uh, yeah. And have you seen the port fjords? Yeah. Cool. That's um, that's awesome. So so then um, actually when I um, at, um, I through through that conversation, I realized that you know um, more about Douglas Adams and the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy books than um, th th than anyone that I uh, than any anyone that I know, including me. Um, I when I when I was a little kid, I I loved Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and I I probably read that book about like ten times, and um, and then I've read um, the um, oh oh um, when we were talking yesterday, I said oh the five books in the series. And um, tu um, Tuomo um, corrected me, saying, um, "No, it's like six or uh, how many books are in the series?" I think there's six. Six. Maybe. Okay. Okay. And then um, what are what what are if memory serves? Oh, and, and and I know I promised to not quiz you, but um, uh, do you know um, do you know the names of all the no, six? I have to remember them. Okay. Um, I know one's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I think Life, the Universe, and Everything is number three, right? Yeah, um, I actually know like the names the, because I, I read them as a like a compilation. Oh, oh, and that like giant, um, the yeah. giant, that, that uh, giant the blue brick, book. Brick, yeah. uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I um, I think I was um, I think I was in high school when they. Uh, oh, oh yeah, because they um, they took a long time to release the last like um, I think you you wrote the first three pretty quickly. And then the last, the last couple were spaced out like five, no. five and like ten years, ten years yeah, I apart. Have no idea. Something like two thousand and three when I read them. So, so what? Um, so, so, why, why do you know so much about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy when, when, it, when it's my, it's my favorite book, but you know, like way, way, way more about it than I do. And, and, and so, my, my theory is that either you're like super smart. Or uh, well, anyway, that, that, my, that. my hypothesis is that uh, I just happen to know some mistakes too. Misremember. Uh, uh, okay. I probably don't remember as much as you, seeing as I only read it once. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, and um, and and um, and so. So yeah, that's um, I and, and actually I don't really remember too much um, too much about it. That's on that's on my bucket list to go back and um, to go back and read it. So um, so so yeah. Um, so with with Finland, um, I've I've never been to Finland, and I should have in preparation for the interview. I should have at least read the Wikipedia article on Finland. But um, but but could you? Uh, can you tell me about Finland? Like, what, uh, what, what what's Finland like? Um, what be um, more specific? Maybe. Um, like, uh, like, like the weather is it, is it green? Is it brown? Is it uh, like, uh, like, like, um, does it have like, it, is it like beautiful, beautiful green like England is, or, uh, or is it, or is it more like like where I'm from, Utah, um, Nevada, that's a desolate desert, or does it have some of everything? Or well, I've never been to UK, but. Uh, so it, like in, in summer it's very green and uh, in winter it's either white or if there's no snow then it's black because it's dark. Uh, okay. Oh, and and, and then um, it, it, it's it's dark for a lot of a lot of the time out of the year, right? So 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 like in the in the winter how in the winter how how much light, sunlight do you get? It depends on uh, which part of, it, of Finland you are. Like in the northern parts, there's there's a uh, Long period, and I don't recall how long exactly, but like about a month. In the most, most like northernmost parts, where the sun doesn't basically come up, so it's it's like a, the brightest time of the day is, is like a gloomy twilight. But in the south, it doesn't happen, so 
it's like uh, the Arctic Circle goes, let's say, two thirds of the length going from south to north. Uh, uh, yeah, because it's a it's a gigantically long country, right? It's about a thousand kilometers or like that. I think it's uh, about exactly 10 degrees, which is like 1, 1,100 kilometers, I think. Okay. Like, and then... Uh, like uh, the landmass, I mean, not, not including the islands. Islands. And then what, uh, what, kind of, what kind of food do they usually eat in Finland? Normal food. <laughs> Like uh, like sand- sandwiches uh, for me uh, for me that's hamburgers and pizza um, is yeah, normal yeah, food for but me it's, for me it's, uh, it's the same except I don't eat hamburgers that much maybe pizza and kebab. Uh, so so are there uh, are there like uh, so so with with most European uh, countries I picture like um, like um, stew and then. Um, mashed potatoes or baked potatoes or like like is that a is that a thing in Finland or yeah potato potato is a big part of, of the culinary landscape uh, also Finnish usually usually eat bread during meals like white bread usually. oh okay oh yeah um, I have a well I, um, I know this is pretty far away but uh, but I have a friend from Belarus and he he loves dry bread um, he um, he moved to Utah and and his um, um, his, his like number one goal for six months was to find um, rye bread that was okay because like all the um, all the all, all the stores have. You mean in Utah? It, yeah, in, it, uh, in Utah, um, and uh, a lot of the stores have rye bread, but it's more like uh, like two drops of rye flavoring. It's not actually like uh, like actual like rye rye bread. So um, so so he um, he found some really good bread um, rye bread shared it with me and it was it was awesome. So. So yeah, that's um, that's really uh, that's really cool. So, what? Um, so um, a question a question I had about um, I, I I was hoping you could teach teach me and um, and everyone listening on uh, to my YouTube channel um, how to say a few words in, in Finnish. So so how do you say hello in Finnish? Derva. 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 Pretty close. Okay. The, and, the, and, and, and yeah, the I, rolling I, R is pretty important. Oh, de, der, derve. Derve. Like like derve, but derve. Yeah, yeah you spell it like a T E R V E. Oh, derve. Yeah, it means basically like healthy. Okay. And um, so, so the way you say hello is basically the like literally healthy. Literally, uh, I'm not sure if that's like the etymology, but literally, yeah. Oh, okay, and, and that's if, um, if you say I'm I'm healthy, I can say I am uh, Okay, it means I am I'm healthy. And um, and so that's um, that's that's kind of like the the Isan language, uh, because in uh, like like instead of sabadi kap in Isan you say sabai sabadi or sabadi kap, and that um, that that I think means like like good um, good health. So, so that's that's interesting that it's the same in Finnish. Okay, and then in Finnish, how do you say thank you? Kitos. 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 Yeah, it's a K I I T O S. Kitos. Yeah. Like, um, like I told you before, uh, when pronouncing my name, uh, we don't use aspiration in TMK. So it's Kitos. Kitos. Yeah, and and uh, it's like a sharp S. Okay, and the, and then. Um, it, d- does Finnish have an aspirated T? Um, no. I don't, I don't, I don't, I cannot, nothing comes to mind, uh, any uses. I don't think Finnish has aspiration at all in T. Huh. And so, um, so actually I, um, why, uh, uh or, uh, when, uh, when did you learn English? Are you a native, native speaker or? Finnish. Oh, no, in, um, English. English. No. Do I sound like a native speaker? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, well, to me, um, to me, you do. I, uh, um, and then especially, especially as you're uh, talking about aspi- uh, the Finnish doesn't have any aspirated T's. Um, I, I'm, like your pronunciation, um, your pronunciation sounds like a native speaker. So, so how old, how old were you when you learned English? Maybe nine, or no, younger. Like, I started learning English when we when we got the first computer, basically because. Computer games. Ah, okay. So, let's say 
seems six, seven, eight, nine, but like formally from uh, from H nine. Okay, and so why 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 don't you have a an accent or uh, when you're when you're speaking when you're speaking English? Why is it so good? <laughs> okay, uh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, that's kind of a tough question because like like you, um, it's. Um, and and I was I, I I promise I promise to not um, um, uh, wh what was it uh, we were talking to we were talking to a guy the other day and he um, he um, he's he, he likes a really confrontational um, style style of things so uh, so so I promise not to no, I, um, I think it was just roasting you <laughs> to make sure I was safe in safe hands with, hands with you uh, uh, okay okay. Um, so, so in Finnish, how do you say where are you going? Uh, let's say in literally Finnish, you would say uh, minne minute. Minne minute. Minne minute. Yeah. Minne minute. Yeah, but the, the thing to know about Finnish is that, like, the let's say the common Finnish language or the written Finnish, nobody speaks it natively, like uh, because basically. Basically, the Finnish region is, is composed of like dialect areas, and uh, the written written Finnish is basically a synthesis of, of the of the of the dialects. So, in my native dialect, I would say "mihin met," and I cannot think of other examples. But. Okay. But in, in like the literary Finnish, it would be "mihin menet." Mihin menet. And um, and and I think that's uh, well that's a, that's an interesting question because in Thailand I get asked that like all the time like like four or five times per day some Thai person says hey hey where are you going where are you going and then and then especially like like taxis in um, taxis in tourist areas well well I was asked that question but but like people at my work um, the guy um, the guy at the first floor of my condo um, like every every single day he asks me hey where are you going where are you going. Um, so, so normally I wouldn't ask that question as one of the one of the most um, common questions to ask. But, but we are uh, we are in Thailand. So what's uh, what's another? Um, what about congratulations? How do you say congratulations? Onneksi olkoon. I'm speaking in my native uh, dialect again. But okay. Onneksi olkoon. Is, Onneksi is, uh, olko. And and then how do you, how do you spell that? Uh, that's actually two words. Like uh, onneksi olkoon. It's uh, O N N. E K S I space uh, O L K O O N Onyxy all gone. Yeah. Cool. So thanks. Uh, thanks for the thanks for the quick lesson in uh, in Finnish. So I'll try to um, I'll try to watch this video and become my expert at least in the four uh, four words in in Finnish. Um, I think those are not not the typical phrases you ask somebody. <laughs> um, so, so do you, do you like do you like Thai food? Um, yes and no. And then, uh, what's your what's your favorite what's your favorite Thai food? And then I'll, I'll, I'll ask you a little bit later what's the weirdest or um, worst Thai food you 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 had while you're here. Pad Thai or Pad Siu. Oh, and and um, pot to you is awesome. It's a uh, it's like noodles fried with soy sauce, um, and and I'm not sure like like it, it tastes a lot better than just like noodles and soy sauce. Um, so I'm not sure what else they put in it, but it's awesome. And the uh, pad pad thai is is also great. So um, so what's uh, what's the what's the worst the worst or the strangest or like Thai food you never want to try again? And and actually, if it were um, if it were me, I would be like, oh, I have this like weird stuff that I don't remember, and I tried, I ran away from the place, so I. Um, There's probably stuff that I, that would like uh, be my first choice if I had tried them, uh -huh. but. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I cannot really say. Oh. So I have, um, I have I have some notes here. My handwriting is terrible, and I'm realizing that these are 
notes for my other interview, not um, not this one, because um, um, one of my notes says tour guide, and I was thinking, um, I don't remember. That's not me. <laughs> I don't remember us ever talking about um, a tour guide. Ah, okay. Here, here are the correct notes. Um, Commod Commodore 64. So you mentioned your first computer was a Commodore 64, right? Yeah. I think and so. and you're a um, you're a computer programmer, right? Oh yeah. Um, and so um, c um, can you talk about like Commodore 64 and like how how that got you into computer programming and. Um, and what uh, what's what's like the coolest thing you did on the Commodore 64? I didn't, I didn't actually do anything cool with it. The the coolest thing I did with it was uh, like a simple basic program that basically broke the floppy disk drive. Because for some like I think yeah, I think with all C64 floppy disk drives they're like really unreliable. They just refuse to work sometimes. And, uh, Maybe like confirmation bias, but it seem, seems like uh, the script that I wrote that broke the drive slightly increased the probability of it working. But I didn't really, really do very much back. Like, uh, we got it when I was like six or something. Uh, okay. So, um, so, so, so it broke. It broke the drive like, like permanently, or just until you turned it off and turned it back on. Um, no, I mean, I mean, probe like. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, probe. Yeah. Not, uh, I, I thought you said probe. Okay. No, so, um, so, 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 uh, like, how, how did a probe? How did it probe the probe the drive? Or, um, no, it's just. I don't, I don't and, actually. And, I don't and, actually recall what it did. Probably just like try to access it or something. Yeah, and I think that's. I, I think that's really fascinating. Um, actually, I, I read or I, I watched a video from the 8-bit guy where he talked about the um, that the, the floppy drive and how like like a lot of the problems with it. And um, uh, probably probably like all this all the same stuff that you use to, um, to to do that. So that's um, that's really really cool. Yeah, it was interesting because like if it worked once you once you insert a uh, disc, then it would work. But like if you're playing let's say pirates, where you sometimes need to need to change the disc too, then sometimes it would like refuse to work after changing the disc. I have no idea what caused it, but it was. It was Really annoying. It's interesting that, uh, like, from gaming magazines and other sources, I've read that for most people the problem was the cassette drive uh -huh. or the cassette drive. I don't know, but uh, I don't recall that we had any any real problems with it. But it's possible that that's because uh, all of our cassettes were like. Uh, Copied and uh, not original. I think the because they they recorded the like when you bought the game. I think the original cassettes they intentionally like recorded the signal in a very low, very low like amplitude, so that it's difficult to copy. Uh, but I think our copies were probably better than the originals. That we got. Oh, that's uh, that, uh, that's really that's really interesting. So, what what was your favorite Commodore sixty four game? And my, uh, mine was Balder Dash. Uh, well, actually, mine was Auto Duel. Um, but and I, and I was so so sad because I, I got a copy of Auto Duel and and now like after um, in the nineteen eighties, Auto Duel was awesome. But um, but but now that I played modern games where um, you don't die every five minutes, and um, so, so so the game's like this really long like sixty hour game. But if you die, uh, if you die like once in the first twenty hours, you have to completely reset over to. What was the game? It's called Auto Duel. So so anyway, it's it, it's a cool it's a cool concept, but but just like the death mechanics are and starting over is it, uh, makes it horrible. So so anyway, I'm sorry. My, my, my question was, what's what's your uh, what's your favorite or what what is or was your uh, favorite before, Commodore 64? Before we go into that, uh, can you spell the name for me so I can Google oh, it? Oh, A U T O D U E L. Auto tool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I'd say if I had to name a favorite game, that would be Hard and Heavy. That's basically Genesis Two. Okay. I, I'm not sure. I, I think it was never released for C64. I'm not sure. It was also made for Amiga, and I think it was actually released for that. Yeah. So something like maybe maybe. Hard and Heavy, which is Genesis 2, Genesis 2. Uh -huh. I also also played some uh, Maniac Mansion. 
uh, Spy vs. Spy. Yeah. Those are the main, main like, let's say, four, four or five games that I can remember playing. Cool. And, um, and then, um, can you, um, which, uh, which, you're a programmer now, what, uh, what, what, what's your main language that you use? Main language? Or, or, or which, uh, which languages do you use, or what, um... Let's say, in my current projects, I use Python mostly. And the basis in, the basis in C, I used to write some firmware a few companies back. So, I'd say maybe those two are my main languages. Cool, and you, um, um, and you said that... Like like when uh, when you were first starting out and first learning the program when you were a kid, then you also did a lot with was it QBasic or uh, what was the? Uh, that was later when we got a PC, but yeah, yeah we wrote some like uh, text adventure games uh, in QBasic. It was basically just like a bigger adventure type, like choose from a few options what you do. Uh -huh. So so are you are are you a writer also? Uh, because uh, because th those choose your own adventure games usually are are pretty text text heavy. So yeah, yeah. no, I'm not a writer. Just um, just write for huh? That's um, I, I, you'd probably be a really interesting writer. Yeah, maybe if I if I had like motivation and the focus. <laughs> Okay, and let me um, check to make sure that I'm not asking you about being a tour guide. Oh, um, so how, um, how did you, uh, uh, where, where the proper job restaurant, it's one of the coolest, well, for, um, from my, my perspective, one of the coolest bars in, um, in, in Bangkok. Um, one, of the, one of the questions is how, um, how, does, how does like this place compare to a bar in, in Finland? Uh, well, the first thing is that uh, this is like the, the alcohol laws in bars in Finland, like uh, bars and pubs are more strict. Like, so, so, for example, you cannot, can bring, if you bring your own, own vodka, for example, you, you cannot drink it and you cannot take anything outside. But more strict. This is more laid back, but that's more more to do with, uh, with the like the local bar culture. Uh, uh. So so you can't um, you, you can't ever bring your bottle into the bar. Uh, you can, but you need to keep it in your back. It's a nice club. You need to keep it back uh, back to the club room. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'd say like this specific bar. Uh, the main thing, main thing used to be when Rob was uh, around, uh, uh -huh. was Rob, the uh, previous owner. I don't know if you've met him or not. Oh yeah, I uh, I met him. I met him once, I think, like five years ago. Yeah. Yeah, basically he was uh, at least at least to me uh, he was basically the like the character of the place. I don't know any any other bars in Finland uh, at least that would have. Seen it. Okay, so so so, the, so 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 there's no Robert like guy in the Finland bars. Well, not to not not in any any bar to like maybe there's probably in in some smaller places probably. I don't know of any. Okay, and then um, how did you find this place? Uh, through like casual work. Like, oh, this is, okay. This is the <coughs> the like one of the owners of the of the company. Uh -huh. um, like back when he was just like uh, founding the office here, I think uh, he he lived in in Tulip, which is like from the corner there. Oh, okay. And so he used to frequent this bar, I think, and he still does occasionally, but much much less. So um so so is this um so 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 you found this because um because your because um, your friends are here so 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 is this kind of like like uh I hate. I hate going to proper job because because um, I always get dragged there. Or, or is it like a cool place for you? Yeah, it's a cool cool place for me. Uh, oh, and what's uh, what's yeah. your? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I often came here by by myself just uh, when I when I used to live here. And then, what, uh, what's your favorite thing on the menu? Let's see. What's that? 
Patsu. Oh, the, uh, the, um, so, so the Patsu you were, you were talking about was was the pat, um, Patsu you at this at this place, and I've never yeah, I've, I've, I've never tried it. So, say, yeah. yeah, you should. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I tried tried it under the new regime. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I tried it or not. Okay. I haven't been here very often uh, since I moved back. Uh, uh. Like this has made my third time. Oh, okay. And then, um, so, so I promised, uh, I promised to keep the um, the interview short because you're because uh, you're really busy. Um, so, so I think I think this is a good stopping point. But anything, anything you want to talk about before uh, before we before we stop? Wow, that was loud. Uh, before we stop the interview. Uh, nothing really comes to mind. Okay. Well, um, um, thanks. Um, thanks very much. I um, I. It, um, one of the really cool things about living in Bangkok is meeting people from all over the world. So, so it's awesome that you. Um, it's awesome you're from Finland. Um, I just, I, I, um, Finland just seems really, really cool to me. Um, so, anyway, th um, thanks for, thanks for, uh, thanks for talking to me. Thanks for teaching me a little bit of Finnish, even though there are phrases um, nobody actually uses. And, no, I didn't mean um, that. <laughs> I meant there are phrases that nobody usually asks asks for, uh, like for the, for the first phrases. Uh, uh, okay. 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 Well, uh, uh, thanks. Uh, thanks again, and um, and yeah, thanks, this, uh, this, this was a great thanks interview. Thanks for having me.